So let's talk about the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. This was about 40 minute special on Disney Plus and it takes place post uh, Endgame with the Guardians of the Galaxy. I guess post Endgame, post Thor Love and Thunder, right? Because Thor's not in it. So post all those things. Um, and it's about the Guardians. And basically uh, Peter Quill is sort of bummed and kind of thinking about, I guess everyone knows it's Christmas. He doesn't really um, talk about Christmas. Um, but uh, they, Phil, and Mantis and Drax decide to go to, <laughs> uh, sorry, go to Earth to kidnap Kevin Bacon as he is a great warrior. And then they bring him to uh, Peter Quill as a Christmas present. Um, because Mantis is like, well, I'm his sister. We don't talk about it ever, but I'm his sister and I should do something nice for her for Christmas. It is a cute holiday special. I like that Kevin Bacon was super cool in this. I also like that the band, the Alien Band, was the band the old 97s, which I thought was really cool. Like, And I like the music in this. I felt like you kind of know what a James Gunn music is going to be. I feel like you know the typical like 70s, 80s thing. And he didn't do that. He had a Smashing Pumpkins. I believe it's Smashing Pumpkins. Maybe it's Swan or Solo Billy Corgan or something. Um, but it it was... I, I liked what he did there. Some of the tradition, like sort of traditional classic rock kind of stuff. But uh, it it was... That was interesting um, how he did it. And I liked the actual story. I liked that the old 97s were there. I like how game Kevin Bacon is. I would like a super cut... It could someone on YouTube make a super cut of actors in movies talking about how they hate actors like that? <laughs> I do think it's funny. It was in, I think, the first Paddington. It was in this. And I, I, will, I love watching actors talk about how all actors are liars. It is, like, really funny. I don't know. Uh, it's just, like, like I don't know, very humorous to me. It's, it's a fun special. I would actually recommend it. I do still think it's weird that we're referencing the title of this and another the lego star wars references the actual star wars holiday special and yet disney plus has yet to release the star wars holiday special which is just it's more weird that it was like why are you referencing it so much but whatever um this this doesn't reference it at all i don't believe but it was cool all the guardians were there they seemed to be having fun and had a nice vibe to it it was a cute little special i could honestly watch this again if my kids are into it that's some minor lore things kind of tied up uh, I agree with a lot of people, uh, Austin in the chat, saying Groot looked weird. Groot did look weird, but I, it was fine. You don't see Groot a lot. It's mainly Drax and Mantis and going to Earth, and that was fun. And, I, you know, it's a cute little special. It's it's a decent, good holiday special. I probably, um, I feel like I'm more cynical about James Gunn stuff. I really like the first Guardians. I didn't like the other two as much that he's made, but I was very positive about this, but I kind of just met this at sort of face value. I wanted like a light fluffy holiday special. That's, that's what you get there. You know what I mean? It's, it's just like fine little thing. I know they referenced that maybe they'll do another one. I seriously doubt that'll happen at this point, but maybe, but it, it was just like, you get Kevin Bacon being fun. I did question like, what is Kevin Bacon's bacon number to his villain in X-Men first class through this? If X-Men first class is connection or not, um, if anyone in the chat can remember my bacon number, uh, both from Knockforce and what is my actual bacon number, if you could do that, that'd be cool. But, um, I, uh, other two meaning Suicide Squad and Guardians of the Galaxy 2, if you're wondering. Uh, but, uh, I, I enjoyed this. It's a kind of a fine, fluffy thing. You get some guard, it's, it's sort of like a one-shot little holiday comic. It plays just like that, and they did a good job with it, and I thought they brought it better energy and kind of the fact that all of them these big actors showed up to do it and really like delivered on it and had fun with it and it feel like everyone was game to play and because of that i think this kind of actually worked out in spite of itself you know it's like it's kind of just like a dumb little thing but it seemed like everybody like got what it was they had fun they gave you a good christmas special gave you good vibes and you left and that's all you kind of want from it i feel like it got what it needed to do and got out and what's what are, what are, what more should this really be? I think it's exactly what it needs to be.